الحمد لله نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم Your Highness, Prince Muhammad bin Salman al-Saud, Your Majesties, Excellencies, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There are moments in history that shake us to our core and challenge our collective conscience. Moments that compel us to ask if our humanity still flickers, if we have the courage and wisdom to act. Such a moment has come with an ongoing Israeli onslaught on Palestine. Such a moment is now. I therefore applaud the initiative of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to convene this extraordinary Arab Islamic summit and the condemnation of the colonization and atrocities of Israel in Gaza and the West Bank. For over a month, the besieged people of Gaza have been subjected to the barbaric cruelties and genocide by Israeli forces, indiscriminately targeting men, women, and children alike. Neither homes, hospitals, nor religious sanctuaries, Muslims or Christians, are safe from Israel's indiscriminate attack. This continuation of the politics of dispossession of the Palestinians is not taking place in the dead of the night. It is perpetrated in full view of the world in a flagrant breach of international law. The political class of Western nations exhibit a selective myopia towards the turmoil in Palestine. Yet, we salute the collective conscience and the awakening of the people. A sea of change in awareness has taken root, as shown in mass demonstrations in unprecedented proportion throughout the world, including the Western world, in support of Palestine. Ironically, in these capitals that herald free speech and human rights as a sacrosanct right, some authorities have denounced proponents of the Palestinian cause maligning them as purveyors of hate speech and supporters of terrorism. This is perverse double standards writ large. In this pivotal moment, our collective voice, Arabs, Muslims, and those who aspire to defend freedom of all people, irrespective of race or creed, we stand to get stronger and we champion a shared purpose. Believe me, the Ummah and the international community expects from this conference tangible results and concrete actions. Excellencies, with due humility, I call upon each of us to strategically employ our diplomatic channels and networks in every dialogue and on every stage, be it bilateral or multilateral, regional or international, let us consistently and assertively call for the follow following in a concerted diplomatic campaign. Institute an immediate ceasefire. Increase and expedite humanitarian existence to the people of Gaza. Halt all Israeli settlement activity and settler violence against Palestinians in the West Bank. Immediately cease the forced displacement of civilians. Investigate and prosecute all breaches of international law, including war crimes through international judicial institutions. Support the Arab Peace Initiative and facilitate negotiations with reputable mediators to advance the two-state solution. With the recognition of an independent state of Palestine based on the pre-1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. And combat the global rise of Islamophobia while safeguarding the right to peaceful expression 
of support for the Palestinian cause. It is imperative that we unite our voices in chorus so that our message stands a much greater chance of resonating and being heard. In closing, allow me to reaffirm Malaysia's ironclad commitment to the Palestinian cause. Thank you.